Good morning children. This video is for anyone who's working in the Obelisk group. Here is your Fluent in 5 starter. So please now pause the video and answer the questions. And here are your answers. So today, children, we are going to be doing some reasoning and problem solving involving multi-step problems. Again, multi-step problems is where we need to do more than one calculation to achieve the answer of the question. So we're going to take the first question here. A school orders 455 mass books. They order 258 fewer English books than mass books and 86 more art books than English books. How many books are ordered in total? So... They've got underlined the key information here with the numbers, but actually there's a couple bit more, couple more bits of information that are important. And it's this word here, fewer, and it's this word here, more. Now, we've got our starting number, which is 455 mass books. They order 258 fewer English books than mass books. So as it says here, we need to do maths take away 258. And then we can do the art in a minute. Now, so to work out the amount of English books, we need to do 455 take away 258. So we'll do that now using our written method. So we've got 455 take away 258. 5 take away 8, you can't do. So we must exchange. So we take, cross out the 5, put a 4 above, and we put a one in front of the five. So we've now got 15 ones. 15 take away eight equals seven. Four take away five. Again, we cannot do because five is greater than four. So we exchange again, turn the four into a three, put the one in front of the four. Let's make 14. 14 take away five equals nine. Three take away two equals one. So there are 197 English books. To work out art, we need to take the total of English and add 86. So we need to take this total here, 197, add 86. 7 plus 6 equals 13. 9 plus 8 equals 17, plus 1, 18. 1 plus 1 equals 2. 283 art books. But we're still not done yet because the last statement, the question here says, how many books are ordered in total? So we now need to add this amount, this amount, and this amount. You can do it in two ways. You can add these two numbers first, get the answer, and then add that. Or you can add all three of them at the same time. And that's what we're going to do now. So 455. 197, 283. Now we've got to do add. The reason why is because we're trying to find the total. Now it's really important that when we're doing these calculations, adding these numbers up, we do it carefully and we make sure we do it correctly. So we've got 5 plus 7 equals 12 plus 3 equals 15. 5 plus 9 equals 14 plus 8 equals 22 plus 1 equals 23 4 plus 1 equals 5 plus 2 equals 7 plus 2 equals 9 so the total amount of books is 935 note we had to do three different calculations to get that answer 2b Eric has 723 stamps in his collection. And it's shown here using place value counters. Book A has 423 stamps in. Book B has 225 fewer than book A. How many stamps are in book C? Convince me. Now again, to convince Eric, what we need to do is we need to use calculations. Now we know how many are in book A, 423. Okay. To work out how many are in book B? 
book B has 225 fewer than book A. So we need to do this calculation, which is already done for us here. It's got 423, take away 225. So we'll use a written method again to help us solve this. 423, take away 225. This is going to give us the answer of B. So we've got three take away five. Cannot do because five is greater than three. So we cross out the two turn to a one. One in front of the three equals 13. Take away five from it gives us eight. Can't do one take away two. So we exchange. 11 take away two equals nine. Three take away two equals one. So there are 198 books in B in book B uh, 198 stamps in book B now this is where the understanding of the question you need to understand so we've got the amount for book A 423 we've got the amount for book B 198 so we've got those two values we don't know the value of book C yet but we know the total so if I was to draw this in a bar model for you to see what we've got so far is that this here is the total 723 book a has 423 in it book b has 198 but book c we still don't know so to work this out what we need to do we need to add these two numbers together to find out their total so we'll do that now. Three plus eight equals 11. Two plus nine also equals 11, plus the one equals 12. Four plus one equals five, plus another one equals six. So this total here equals 621. We still don't know the value of C, but to work that out, because we've been given a total, whenever you've been given a total, you will need to do a subtraction. And we've got this number we're going to subtract from there. So we're now going to do 723 take away 621. Three take away one equals two. Two take away two equals zero. 7 take away 6 equals 1. So C is worth 100, has 102 stamps in it. This here was just for you to be able to visualize it, but you're more than welcome to draw that when you do your working out. But look, three steps to work out that answer. And we convinced Eric by doing our calculations. Now we've got here, write a word problem to go with the following calculation. So we've got 512 centimetres, take away a number plus 123 centimetres equals 317. Now, to, the first thing we need to do is to work out, actually, what is that missing number? If we can work out that missing number, then what we can do is we can use this, we can create a word problem using whether it's going to be how long um, the, sh the length of the string was, and so forth, if they're cutting it. So, if we were to say, sorry children, if we were to say, Omar needs 317 meters of string. Centimeters of string, okay. He starts with 512 centimetres. But cuts too much. Sorry, let's just... So Omar needs that amount. Okay, he needs that amount of string. 
307 centimeters. He starts with 512 centimeters, but that's too long because we know it's greater than that number. So he needs to cut some off. And because he's cut off, he's cut off too much. But we don't know what that number is yet. And we need to, so he cut, but cuts too much off. So he's cut too much off. We don't know what this number is. This is a question mark. And this is what we need to find out. He adds 120 of string to his first piece. Okay, to his first piece to get 317. But we need to work out what is this missing number? Okay, because it says solve your word problem. So we'll go back through that question quickly. So he starts with 317 centimeters. He needs 317 centimeters. He starts with 512 centimeters. And because he knows it's greater than that, he needs to cut some off. Unfortunately, he cuts off too much. So he needs to work out. So he needs to, he then needed to add 123 centimeters to the bit that he cut which was remaining to give him 317, cent 317 centimeters. To work this out, we need to do multiple steps, which require us to work backwards. So we need to do the opposite here. So where it says add, we're gonna do 317, take away 123. 317, take away 123. This is gonna allow us to work out what this missing number is because we've got to work backwards. Seven take away three equals four. One take away two it cannot do, so we have to exchange. 11 take away two is nine. Two take away one is 194. So he was left here. At this point, he had to do 194 add 123. But what did he subtract from 512 to get to 194? work this out because we've been given the total the largest number we subtract that number from that number from that number and then that will give us our answer here 512 take away 194 2 take away 4 cannot do 12 take away 4 is 8 0 take away 9 cannot do so we exchange again 10 take away 9 equals 1 Four take away one equals three. So the missing number is 318. So I've written I've written a word problem by identifying what 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 did he what was his missing number? So he, he didn't know how much he cut off. And then I've used two calculations by going backwards to work out that answer there. Please rewatch the video if you need help. Um, if you need to, any more help, you can email me and I'm more than happy to go through some of the questions with you. Best of luck.